What's up guys? Um, my journeys from work has brought me close to a pet store that I have visited before and did a video. Um, when I say close, I mean like 30 minutes away. So it's still a drive, but we are back at J4 Aquatics. Um, just wanted to do a quick video. Last time we were here was grand opening. So probably things have changed. I know stock has changed. Um, I don't need anything, but friends always support friends. So we are here. We're going to buy something, whether it's, you know, just a bag of food or fish. Um, so yeah, let's check it out. Also, I don't have my mic on me, so I'm going to have to replay this video and see if it needs a voiceover. So it might be some B-roll or all B-roll or, uh, or I might just be yelling and hopefully there's nobody in the store. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we're going in. We got some nice decals on the windows. One side. This is their hours if anybody is interested. Looking a little empty. Let's go check out and see what they have. I do like this guy. It's really nice. Oh, look at that. I have no idea what kind of fish that is. Sorry, buddy. That was cool. You can see him right there. It looks really sweet from the top. That's a cool fish. It's nice though, that kind of thing is going to get me in trouble. Nice. Hey, 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 I like it. Oh, I moved a lot around. We do have salt water now. So if you guys are looking for clownfish, we got some damselfish, uh, got a goby. shrimp so three bucks which is pretty good i was at my other fish store they were going for like i don't know like eight to ten or something so i obviously didn't buy any there but at three bucks and the support it might be worth getting if we can find some blue ones right there Talk to Jay about that. Nice. Look at this. Eight dollar vampire crabs. Those are super cool. I've had people always ask about them. I even think there's somebody in my last video who asked about vampire crabs. But look, eight dollars. Snails. Checking out all the plants, guys. All plants in this tank, five dollars. Monster tank has some more monsters. That guy's huge. Cichlids. Sweet discus. What else we have? Oh, the illustrial flower horns. That's a nice silk right there. 
you can see because his head is almost fully colored. Look at that. He's got the personality, he's got the aggression, which is what you want to see. So anytime I go in, it's a nice golden base too. You can see by the pearling and all the colors he has on his head. That guy's nice. And these guys you see, so look at the top of his head. Right in the center is usually where they go bald, kind of like this guy. This guy's still solid, but sometimes it's a dark spot right there. But this guy has so much color everywhere. Look at that. tell this guy compared to the last guy you can see he's got that gray line going down his head and this one has a lot less of it so you can always check for quality check the Dempsey's these guys are cool aggressive what those are but they're little babies it's kind of cool I wonder if they bred oh SRD fry super red monkeys six bucks those are super cool I wonder if those are all sold oh, long thin Oscars you know, if I had a tank big enough I might do an Oscar. A lot of people say they're they've got nice personalities, just like flower horns. But I haven't had a chance. Oh, I don't have a tank big enough. Oh, these are super cool. Nice color axolotls. This guys. Something that pops. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. But I'm not really looking for anything, but oh, I might need more sword tails. We'll have to figure something out because they're more aggressive than I thought they would be. It's a really nice selection. I like the ones that are mostly white, like that guy right there. Almost all white with just the orange head. It'd be cool if you could find a pregnant one. The fish all look healthy. I mean, I know Jay does his quarantining as he imports. I know he knows his, his thing. If you look at all these tanks, they're running on their own filter. So none of them are connected. If there happens to be an outbreak in one tank, it's not going to affect the other tanks. So it's a lot more difficult instead of to put them all on a sump, but oh, mud skippers. But it's best for the fish. It's best for the tanks. Best for your customers. Damn! Look at that. That's super cool. Try not to make an impulse buy. I don't think I have anything that ah <laughs> any tank sets ready for that. But we are looking. Look at this. Dang it. Oh, those are those fish. Or oh, that's something. What is it? Oh, that's not a pico. But it's super cool, whatever it is. Here, click was down in there. Should be the gold nuggets. I really like the cave. Under there. Platinum Senegals. That's not a platinum, but I wonder if that's a regular. Banjo catfish. Dang. Fishers. Super cool fish too. They get super big. About the monster fish here. 
18 bucks. Oh, fire mounts are also a cool fish. Got large swords. the goldfish. Green puffers, 12 bucks. Super cute. I think those look like the babies that were in the other tank. Sumatra, four bars. Super cool fish. Large fire eels, $49. All right. Tiger moray eels, moray, 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 moray eels. Extra large ones. Shovel nose. Those also get huge. More goldfish, koi's. Here's the saltwater section. Uh, it's actually really good prices. Like since I've been out of the saltwater game, I saw prices go crazy. Look at this, just clownfish, twenty-two bucks plus, maybe twenty-five percent off. That's really good. It's super cool. Longfin clownfish, frostbite clowns, so cool. And whatever's down there. So I don't know. We'll see. I think there's a couple things I want to get, but I'm gonna look around some more, and you guys will find out soon. I just stumbled on the back area where it looks like he's got some amphibians, lizards, and uh, snakes, and a Godzilla. Oh, that's dope. It is Godzilla. Holy crap, look at that guy. Pastel Highway, 400. Jeez, that guy's beautiful. Dang. You guys are into snakes and lizards. J4's got you. That shedding is so cool. I don't know if anything's in here. No, but that's pretty cool. Bearded dragons. Wow, but I did not know that. All right, guys, we're back home. Got the mic. Um, it's a little bit later, but what did I want to show you? All right. So I got five pieces of little driftwoods. I want to do like a, a treescape. Put this in the substrate and put some moss at the top. What else did I get? Um, where is everything? I don't know where everything is. So I know I said I wasn't going to make impulse purchases, but we got some vampire crabs. Got four of those bad boys. Original idea was to put them in here, but after doing more research, they need a lot more land, and I don't know how this is all going to work. Plus, I couldn't get the heater to extend over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring down this tank, clean it all up, and set it up where it's probably like 70-80% land and 20% water. Um, so that's just going to be the next project I'm going to do right now. But we got one other thing, and I can't remember which tank I put it in. I didn't even put it in a tank. It's right here. We've got some more Rotala, but this is a... Uh, it's like an ember flame or something, whatever. The top is nice and red. Um, you can see right there. So that's pretty cool. 
I think I'm gonna put one of them in the Iwagumi tank and one in a different tank, just, just to spread my chances so they don't both die. Um, just as with new plants, you are gonna experience some melting. So what I always do is just, I just fish out the dead leaves and just leave it in there until I feel like it's completely gone. I've had pretty good luck with the regular Rotala before. I think that's gonna be somewhat similar, so should be all right. Um, and that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm going to get working on the vampire crab tank, so it's going to take me a little bit. But still deciding if I'm going to record that or not. But I'll see you guys in the next one.